Okay, so today I filmed this tutorial. Um, I told you that I was going to start bringing you guys a bit more colorful uh, makeup looks. And someone on my Instagram asked me to do like a sunset type of inspired look. Um, so yeah, that's exactly what I did. The palette. And also, when I like the palette that I'm going to be using is the Morphe um, 35B palette that looks like this. I put it on my Snapchat and you guys went crazy. Everyone, I uh, snapped and asked if you guys wanted a tutorial using this palette. And a lot of you guys told me yes. I was so surprised because I get so many people asking for like um, neutral and everyday makeup tutorials. That it's kind of good to see that there are people that enjoy um, colorful looks and things like that. So I do enjoy using color on myself. Um, but I did, like I said in a previous video, kind of got into a rut because I got a lot of people asking me for neutral and everyday and more, um, I guess, wearable um, makeup looks because a lot of people wouldn't wear this like to the workplace or anything like that. So that is why I was doing those. But I promise I will be doing just like a mixture of both, even in the wintertime. If I feel like I want to do something with a pop of color or something colorful, I'm going to do it just because that's the type of makeup that I do like now for the most part it's just me putting it on for camera and just kind of creating it for myself not necessarily trying to go outside but I definitely have gone outside with colorful makeup I have no problem with it but yeah that is hi guys okay I have missed you guys like I have missed filming like I don't think you guys understand how much I missed you. Am I a little bit loud? I'm a little bit loud. I feel like I'm a little bit loud. But I'm just telling you guys that I missed you. Um, so yeah. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is priming my eye or setting my eye or doing whatever you want to do with your eye. I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. And I'm going to use that all over my lid. And I'm just going to make sure I'm putting that all like in the inner tear ducts and everything just so that I can get the color payoff that I want. I'm working with brighter colors today so I want to make sure that I get the best color payoff possible. Now mine is going to turn just a bit like beige color because I did use this um, to kind of uh, smooth out the concealer underneath my eyebrow so that's why it's coming off a bit beigey not really tan but beige color so yeah don't be like oh what did you put on your brush it's just dirty if you want to say well not necessarily dirty but yeah it has product on it so that's what I'm doing and I'm just going to be using this Real Techniques brush that looks like this I don't know the name because I've had it it's a deluxe crease brush okay but I did know that I have two and one of them like completely rubbed off because I've had these brushes for some time so yeah, I do get a lot of questions like on Snap um, in regards to like my brushes and that I like to use and stuff like that. I do love Morphe brushes, um, but when I first started to just kind of get into makeup, I was using the Real Techniques brushes. Now they don't have like a really good like, um, what's that kind of brush that I'm looking for? Like a um, blending brush to say uh so i did have to go to i think i went to like target and to this day i still use that brush a lot um but yeah that is what i was using and then i'm just going to take like a skin tone type of color and just kind of set that so that it won't be looking crazy Okay, so for my first eyeshadow, and I have been loving this eyeshadow lately, I'm going to take Chickadee by um, Makeup Geek. Once you place a, I know you might be a little scared because this is a paler color, but once you take this color with a white base, this color is super, super pretty. So I'm just going to take that and a Luxie, what is this? 227 blending brush, and I'm going to place this kind of like above and in my crease as well now with this color I am going to go in with quite a few layers just to get the color payoff that I want 
because um, I did notice that it didn't give me I need a handheld mirror it didn't give me the color payoff with just a few swipes so I am going in with quite a few layers to um, layer that color to get the just to get the um, color payoff that I really really want but yeah I missed you guys so I'm not sure I think I might talk through this of course some areas might be sped through just in case um, I'm not talking or I'm trying to concentrate on one item you I mean one thing you guys know how it is when you're doing your makeup but yeah I missed you guys um, I did not have my computer all like last week and part of the week before because I used my computer that day the day that this is happening that I'm telling you about and everything was fine but I went ahead and I um opened it later on that evening and the inside of the screen was cracked so I'm just like okay my computer is still under warranty I'm thinking everything is going to be okay because there was no physical damage to the screen it was something going on on the inside of the screen no I went into Mac the man didn't even really speak to me like talk talk me through what was going on all he did was say your LCD screen is cracked and this is the price and I said oh he's like it's not covered under warranty because it, it's an accidental damage and I'm like how is it accidental because he kept like trying to um find a reason as to why the screen cracked like on the corner of my computer at the top just normal wear and tear I've had the computer for I think almost two years now and it has like a tiny dent on the actual flip up part but it's not on the screen it's like on the silver part of the um, MacBook and he's just like oh when did you get this I said that happened so 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 long ago I think almost when I first got it I was taking it out of the room and I knocked it up against like the wall or something and that happened and he was just like oh okay and then I went later I went back later the next day to try to see if I could talk to the manager and she's like oh yeah maybe it happened because it, like the crack was on the inside and it's at the bottom of the uh, screen and she's like that sometimes these things take a long time girl if you don't get your I said you know what I don't even have time to keep going back and forth then when the man I called someone and he's just like we might be able to give you like a one time courtesy he called the people at the Apple store that I had uh, that I had went to and they were like no I guess they told her, told them no don't give me a one time warranty and I was just like you've got like a one time courtesy I should say I was like you've got to be kidding me so that's what happened and then I had to pay too much too much money almost like what five six hundred dollars to get this fixed so and I didn't want to take it to like an outside like even though the guy was like oh you can take it to an outside retailer they were charging pretty much the same price and I'm like I don't want to hear any um I don't want to hear anything about oh I took it to someone else you know how Apple be if you take it to another place then they say oh we can't touch it after that even though the guy did tell me that I could I still didn't want to risk that because I still have warranty on the computer so I was just like you know what nah okay so the palette that I'm going to be using mainly today is by Morphe and this is the this is the um, 35B palette, so I'm going to take this orange shade that's in the bottom, the third, um, the third shade at the bottom. And I'm going to be taking that same Luxie uh, blending brush, and I'm just going to pack that orange on. And I'm going to start right here at that tape and just drag it into my uh, crease. You want it to kind of just be like a gradient effect. So yeah, I was like so pissed off about that. But it was just like I needed it to edit. So there was nothing else I could do about it other than just bite the bullet and say you know what I'm gonna go and get this fixed so 
that's what I did all to be able to edit videos for you guys <laughs> but yeah um that's what was going on so that's why I haven't been able to make videos but now I got my computer back and I still think there's something wrong like the trackpad was acting kind of crazy but I knew I needed to make videos for you guys because a few of you was like oh my god I missed you I missed you I missed you where have you been and I was just like you know what I'm gonna have to just because I don't know if they're gonna have to take the computer or not but I did call it in so they can have some type of record that I did call in and tell them that the day that I got my computer back it was acting a bit crazy right now it's okay but I'm still gonna take end up taking it in because I don't want it whatever's going on to continue and to get worse so yeah okay so next I'm going to take in these third the third color from the uh, second from the bottom the second row from the bottom I'm going to take this red shape right here and I'm just gonna use this to uh, deepen up the crease so the brush that I'm going to be using first is this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and this is mainly going to go, I'm starting lower than what I did with the, um, there's a fly, <sighs> lower than I did with the um, orange shade and I'm just going to take it and just go and deepen up that crease even more. So yeah. That's what's been going on. Have you guys been on Twitter and like, do you? I don't know if you guys follow Balor or not, but did you see the nonsense that he tweeted? Like, oh, I'm not black, I'm mixed. What? Like, I felt some type of way because, one, I'm going to switch and use this um, Morphe m433 brush i'm not sure if you guys can still get this because this was one of the brushes that they were uh like having on sale so i'm not sh sure if you can still get this one so i'm just going back in with that uh luxie blending brush i'm not adding anything to it i'm just kind of um I'm going back in with just a little bit of chickadee just to kind of because I feel like it got kind of got lost. And I want you to still be able to see. And I want you to still be able to see that gradient. But yeah, he was just like, I'm not black, I'm mixed, and blah 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 blah. Yeah, that's how it felt when he was. I don't even know if he said he's not black. I, I don't look. Don't quote me, but I know he said something along those lines about him being mixed and he can't relate to certain things. And what? That's all I had to say when I saw that. So now I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter primer that looks like this, and I'm going to be using this Sedona Lace EB29 brush. I don't know where my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that looks like this, but I'm gonna be using this and mixing two glitters by uh, J Cat Beauty. I'll leave their names listed down below. I can't find one of them, but one of them is called I don't even know the name of it. It's not on this paper anymore. But I'll leave the names listed down below. They just look like this. This is how they look. But I mixed two of them together. So I'm just going to place a bit of that uh, glitter primer on the back of my hand. Like so. And then I'm just going to spread it on my brush. And I'm going to take it and begin to... Um, Pat it onto my lid to apply the glitter. Okay, so I didn't take it all the way to the end, uh, in a corner, I mean, to the edge of my eye. 
because I am going to um, just take a brush like this and just kind of deepen up. Okay, so off camera, I am going to apply my um, liner. I do have a liner tutorial that I will be filming this week, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to show you two different ways to get two different types of liners that I normally go for for different types of looks. So I do have, I will be filming a tutorial very, very soon on that, so just stay tuned for that. But off camera, I'm just going to line my liner, and then I'll be back to show you what lashes I'm going okay, to. Okay, so before I apply the um, yellow portion in my eye, I'm going to show you the lashes that I'm going to be wearing. So the, so the first, first pair that I'm going to be wearing are these Ardell 614 lashes that look like this. Um, and the other pair that I'm going to be wearing are the Adele 600 lashes that look like this. Um, both lashes I got from Ulta, so yeah. They were buy one, get one half off. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if they have that now because I got it a few weeks ago. But I'm they always have sales like that at Ulta, so just be on the lookout for them. But yeah, the 614 uh, lashes which are these are the ones that I'm going to apply first and then I'm going to apply those ones that are kind of sparse on top. You want a lash that you can kind of still see through because I did try to apply, you know, my favorite are the uh, Goddess Lashes and the uh, Stella ones. I did try to apply those but they just were too dramatic. For this look you don't want the lashes to take away from the look. You don't want the lashes to take away from the look that you're doing. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer of Ardell glue. I'm going to go in with a thin coat of mascara. So next I'm going to take the yellow shade from that palette and I'm going to pop that in my inner tear duct. And the brush I'm using is the Anastasia brush, just I'm using the opposite end. Okay, so I am going to apply a thin layer of mascara, mainly just to the base of the lash, just to kind of lift them up and so that you can see it. I'm not sure if you guys understand what I'm saying. But like sometimes if you don't apply mascara to certain lashes, you just won't be able to see them really. So that's all that I'm doing. Most of the mascara is going to be at the base of the lash and then I just kind of drag it up a little bit more. So, yeah. Okay, so I thought I was filming all of my face, but it <laughs> really wasn't. So I will have all of the products that I used on my face listed down below. So underneath, I'm just going to take that red color on a... Um, Anastasia brush and I'm just going to just kind of smoke that out underneath. is that i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment thumbs up and subscribe don't forget to leave other suggestions of videos that you like to see down below and i will talk to you guys later bye hi guys okay so this is the completed look all i did was uh spray my nyx dewy finishing spray that looks like this Today, um i'm using chestnut by mac and namaste by who is this uh tart so this is the mini version i got it as a sample and i just wanted to try it out before i purchase any of the larger items i do like it i'm not sure if i purchased like a large um size of this color but that is the color that i'm wearing today so yeah oh and that is the tardiest tardest uh tardest lip paint so in the color namaste so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.